All right, guys, so welcome to this new video tutorial for our brand new template called Animated Product Mockups. In this case, we're going to be looking at uh, our pharmaceutical pack, uh, but there should be other packs available in the near future, and the same principle should apply regardless of which product pack you're using. So I guess to start with, I wanted to give you a quick overview of our template files to explain how this template is structured, because it might be a little bit unusual. Uh, now, when you open the project files, you will find five After Effects projects in total. Four of them are called uh, Product Designer, and essentially you will be using these to design your product mockups. And there's one for each of the different types of products, like a box, uh, here's one for a dropper bottle, one for a pill bottle, and then there's one for a pouch. So you'll be designing your products using these files. And then we also have another file called Product Shots. And what this project contains is all of the pre-animated shots uh, where you can drop in your mock-up designs and then start creating your product animations. Now, what I want to do in this tutorial is to give you an idea of how to build a product shot like this that we saw in the Probo video. That's a pretty straightforward shot, but it looks rather professional, I think, and uh, I want to show you just how easy it is to create it using this template. Now, if you were building this from scratch using a 3D app, you'd easily spend a day creating such animation. But with this template, I'm sure we can do it in, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so we're going to start by designing our two products, and then I'm going to show you how to import them into the product shots project and create this shot with all of the moving graphics and all of the animations. The two products that we'll be using is the box and the pill bottle. And personally, I usually prefer to duplicate these files to create uh, a new copy of them, um, which is kind of a good practice to ensure that uh, you don't mess up your original files and you can always go back to them. Uh, and I'm going to call them uh, tutorial. Okay. So we're going to start with a pill bottle and I'm going to show you how to customize your default product and create a bottle that looks exactly like this. Uh, when you open the project, you'll see that we have a bit of an interface built here where you can see your product mockup and any changes that you make to it in real time. You can also scrub through the timeline to see how the label wraps around the bottle and, uh, and how it looks from the different angles. And then uh, over here on the right hand side, you have a preview of your label. Okay, so let's start customizing our pill bottle. In the timeline, you'll see that we have a layer called controls. And if I switch to its effects tab, you'll see that it has a number of different settings that we can adjust. So I'm going to start by customizing the lid and you'll see how I'm gonna match it to our reference shot. I click here to reveal all of its options. Then here we have a couple of different lid designs that, uh, that we can pick from, but um, Lid 05 seems to be the right choice here. Then we can also change its material to a glossy plastic, aluminum, or even chrome. But, uh, but let's stick with matte plastic here. Then down below we have some options to adjust the grip. And dense seems to be working just fine here. Uh, let's move the lid up by setting its position to, say, 40. Lid height needs to be a little taller, so let's set it to uh, 100%. And the color is white, something like that. All right, and that's our lid. Uh, next, let's move to our bottle. I can see that it's a little too tall, so set this. So let's set this guy to 100%. Next, uh, now material should be transparent. And let's zoom in a little bit and uh, set the neck ring to sharp, thick. Let's compare that. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, that's looking good. Now my shoulders which is this part of the bottle, uh, and it should be wide neck and sharp. And we're gonna add a little bit of height to the neck, something like this. Color of this bottle, let's set that to blue. And we can change the hue here, but not the brightness or saturation. That always remains the same. 
And then finally we have the base of the bottle. So let's switch it to soft. All right, and that's our bottle done. Next, let's swap out our label. So to do that, I double click on this label graphic over here, and that takes me to the label comp. I then import my label by going file, import, file, and select my bottle label. Now to swap out my old label with a new one, I select this layer here in the comp, then select my newly imported label, then I press and hold down the Alt or the Option key, and while holding it, I drag this over my current label. I release the mouse, and then release the Option key. And that swaps out my two assets. And if we go back to our main comp, we can see that the label has been updated. Now, if we compare it to our reference, we can see that it's a bit more glossy over here, so we can try to dial that in a little further. On my controls layer, I expand the label section and set my highlight opacity to 30. Eh, maybe even more, say, 35. As you can see here, we have two options for the different paper types. So you can have either a matte paper that has these soft highlights, or you can switch to glossy that has much sharper highlights, um, similar to those on the bottle. In my case, I'm gonna stick with matte. All right, so that's our product done. Uh, and let me just check it again. And uh, okay, I'm happy with that. So let's save the file. And next, I'm gonna set up my box. Uh, once I open this product, I can see a fairly similar interface uh, where we have a 360 degree view of the box, uh, which is quite handy if you need to make sure that all of your textures are lining up. And then here on the right, we have all of the textures with easy shortcuts to those comps. So first things first, uh, let's import all of the textures for the box, which are all of these guys over here. And uh, okay, so let's start adjusting the shape of our box. My height is five centimeters, width is nine. And if I remember correctly, the depth is three. And we want to make sure the hanger panel is five centimeters tall. And then move this hanger hole by say 0.3 centimeters. And let's just check this again with our reference box. And yep, that looks good with me. All we need to do now is update our textures. So to do that, uh, double click on the front, select the texture here, find my new front texture here, and swap them out. Uh, here's the new layer. I reposition it like that. And just... Uh, and let's just check the edges to make sure that it's uh, positioned correctly. Uh, all right, that's spot on. And if I switch back, I can see right away how our 3D model has updated here. And then we just repeat the same process and update the rest of the textures. Uh, all right, and that's our box finished. Let's just spin it around uh, one last time and make sure that all of the textures line up. All right, looking good. So I'm gonna go File, save it, and that's our two products finished. So now I'm gonna go into my product shots uh, project file, and we can start um, building the actual shot we see here. First of all, let me give you a quick overview of how this file is set up. So over here, we have three folders. The top one is called template assets, and these are just sort of general assets that make up this project file. And then these two guys are the folders that you're gonna be working with. The first one is called pre-animated comps, and here you'll find all of the different pre-animated product shots that you can choose from. So we have like this opening shot where the bottle flies in like that and says new. And you can replace this bottle with your own bottle, turn off the graphic, uh, you can change it to old, and that's just how easy it is to edit it. Then we have a bunch of different product shots, um, and these guys are great for showing off your products or creating some B-roll footage. 
So like with this one, you can see how the camera is slowly rotating around, uh, around the products. Then we have one like this, which you've already seen used in the promo video. The one like that, where the camera is spinning around the two products and, and there's a whole bunch more. Then you have some shots here that can be used to highlight various features or benefits. And all of these elements are fully editable. So you can change titles, uh, change uh, icons if you want, and uh, that way kind of customize the shot. Then next we have some closing shots, uh, like, like this guy, which you can use um, as a closing shot of your ad, where you're sort of showing off the whole range of your products. Or then maybe like this, where you can show off your product's benefits, and then have a, some sort of a call to action. And then here we have a couple of ad examples, where you can find Shots like this, which once again, you've already seen in the promo video, but here you can kind of go through it and, um, and see how it's all built, um, say in case you wanted to build something perhaps a little more complex. And then in this folder, you have a library of assets that you can swap out or add to your shots. So say here you have a, a bunch of different pills. and you can swap them out like that, and you have a different type of pills in your shot. Then we have a whole bunch of backgrounds. Uh, and background is the bottom layer here, and you can swap it out like that, uh, or with this one, or say with maybe like a hospital setting. And then if you want to, you can just kind of go in there and, and you can customize them and, and color correct these guys to match your product or your brand. And finally, here we have a graphic elements folder, which contains all of the different graphics like, um, like buttons and icons and uh, say small graphics like this uh, animated FDA logo. Let's just grab this guy and you can easily add these to your comp. Uh, this position here. Uh, or you can swap them out with uh, any of the existing assets. Uh, like for example, this button here, which you can swap out with a different design that say has more of a flat look to it. And uh, let's make it smaller and change its color by adding a hue saturation effect. And here you go. All right, so that's more or less the overview of the product shots file. Uh, what, what I'm gonna try to do next is recreate this uh, whole shot. Uh, and I wanna show you just how easy it is to do that. We'll start by finding a shot that's similar to this. And if I'm not mistaken, it should be this guy over here. It's a little bit different because the bottle kind of comes in here, pauses for a second, and then spins into its uh, final position. But in general, that's pretty close to our example. So let me just tweak a couple of things here real quick so you don't have to watch uh, all of the boring stuff. Okay, and so, uh, so that's pretty close now. You see these pills over here. Uh, I want to move them to the left side of the bottle uh, and to do that, I simply use my arrow keys and kind of shift them here. I then swap them out with uh, white pills to match my reference video. And then I don't need this title over here, so we can switch it off. And we can move my benefits over here and scale them up to say 90%. And then I'll offset them in time so that they kind of come in a little bit after the bottle uh, moves past them. Okay, new logo. Uh, that should be over here. 
and we'll change it to blue. And the same goes for the button, which uh, will make uh, light blue by shifting its color using hue and saturation effect. And finally, I want to make these ticks over here white, and we can do that by simply adding a white fill effect to this layer. All right, so with our scene set up now, we can import our two products we made earlier and add them to this shot. So to do that, I simply go uh, File, Import, File, and I select my two custom products. And import them just like any other asset. I'll remove that uh, AEP and place these two guys into a folder called Products. Um, okay, so now I can swap out my bottle. I open this guy, I find a comp called product uh, pill bottle. And uh, this comp over here is where we design the bottle. So it's important that you use this guy from the folder called bottle. Once again, I'm holding the alt key on the keyboard and drag it over like this. And that's my product I designed earlier. And then the same goes for the box where I find my box comp and swap it out with my box placeholder. Uh, let's make the box a little bigger, say maybe 75%. And let me quickly adjust their positions. Okay, great. So the last thing I need to do here is adjust the angle of my box. That's super easy, but as you'll see, you'll have to approach um, product rotation a little bit differently um, than you, you might usually kind of do this in After Effects. Meaning that you won't be able to rotate them using the Y rotation parameter over here, as it kind of has a bit of an expression. So, uh, so as you'll see here, if we try to make any changes, it doesn't actually take any effect. Instead, we've moved the rotation to the Products Effects tab, where you'll find this guy uh, called Product Rotation. So now to adjust the angle of the box, I'll simply change this guy to, uh, say, minus 43. And I think that's it. Let's preview this animation in full screen. All right, and that's our shot. And you can see just how quick it was to create a couple of custom product designs, and then animate them using um, these pre-animated comps. Thanks for watching, and I hope this gave you a good understanding of how this template is set up. And like always, if you have any questions, just feel free to drop us an email, which you can find in the Help Me file, or, or just leave us a comment under this video.